so as it stands, things are looking dicey. Have lost two brains from the final round. The eggheads have not lost any so far. And your next subject is food and drink. <laughs> Who would like this? Uh, <laughs> what? Come on, Ross. Do you want to be a, sac to sure <laughs> Do you want to be a sacrificial lamb? Yeah. <laughs> Ross, okay. Against, well, you've got the alternate ones. Dave, Barry, Chris. Barry? Sure. Down the middle. Okay, Ross from Things Are Looking Dicey versus Barry from the Eggheads. We always, when you do geography, we always say he's been to every answer. Now I've eaten every answer. You've eaten, I bet you finally you've eaten every answer as well. More, more like drunk every answer. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, please take your positions. So, Ross, you enjoy playing with frisbees. Yes. <laughs> but that's, it's more like the sporting level frisbee, is that right? Yeah, well, uh, all my frisbees uh, are a set aside sport, so... Yeah, it's not just throwing around the frisbee so much. No, but I think I, I think I used to take it quite seriously when I used to throw a frisbee as well. Barry, is there is there ever been a good quiz question about frisbees? Yes, uh, fr frisbees started because they were, I think, pie boxes from an American pie company. Really? And after the guys had eaten the pie, they started throwing the boxes around, and that's how frisbees developed. Do you know that, Ross? I think I've heard that, yeah. Brilliant. OK, we're on food and drink. They, you've done a fantastic link from frisbees to food there, Barry. <laughs> Wonderful to see you in action. Ross, do you want to go first or second? Uh, I'll go second. All right, I'll bury. Here we go. First question. Black ivory is an expensive coffee made from beans that have been eaten and then excreted by which creature? Elephant, rhinoceros or hippopotamus? Well, there's many creatures that excrete coffee beans, but uh, out of those three, I think it's only an elephant who eats beans, so I'll go for elephant. Elephant is right. Over to you, Ross. Fajitas made by rolling strips of meat in a tortilla with vegetables, grated cheese and other garnishings are associated with the cuisine of which country? Ireland, Mexico or Denmark? <laughs> I think the name kind of gives it away with the, uh, the J being like a kind of essay, is it? It would Mexico, wouldn't it? Mexico's right. Well done. You've hit him with your frisbee. <laughs> Barry, the word magre refers specifically to the breast meat of which type of animal? Magret, M-A-G-R-E-T. Turkey, duck or guinea fowl? Well, turkey and duck are so common to me that if anything was called magret, I'm sure I would have seen it on a menu. So I'll go for guinea fowl. Eggheads, Beth? It's duck. I have a few magret de canard in my freezer. Magret de canard. Yeah, duck is the answer, oh, Barry. I didn't know that. Wow. Beth pulled the expression that you normally pull. Yeah. <laughs> Tables are turned here. Now, this is a good moment for our challenges. Let's just think about this. Get this right, Ross. Yeah. And you maybe just truck it on through to the final. Don't let him back in. What name is given to the French cut of beef corresponding to the top of the skirt? Entrecote, Anglais, or sirloin? Uh, oh, dear. Um, you know, sirloin's the only one I recognise out of all those names. But entrecote is the most French sounding one, I think. So I think I'd probably go for entrecote. Onga is the right answer, Ross. Oh, well. So Barry has the chance now to re establish himself. Mantu is the type of steamed bun in the cuisine of which country? Is it Japan, Russia, or China? Could you just spell that, please? Of course. M A N T O U. It doesn't sound Russian and it doesn't sound Japanese, but it does sound vaguely Chinese, so I'll go for China. China is right. Barry's got two. And you need to get this one right now, Ross. Yes. In Indian cuisine, what name is given to the flat skillet on which breads such as chapatis and parathas are cooked? Is this the tava, tandoor, or tali? Oh dear. Uh, I do enjoy Indian cuisine, but I never really know how it's cooked in general. I think I'll just have a guess as Tava. Sounds like a sort of skillet to me. Now, had you gone wrong here, mm. I would be congratulating Barry on his 500th head-to-head -head victory. Ooh, Ooh. wow. <laughs> I didn't feel it was right to say this earlier, but Tava is right. Oh, yes. Well done. <laughs> so, well, yeah, Barry, you've said that very graciously, Barry, considering. So, we're not quite there, Barry. 500, wow. 500. <laughs> Proper part of Egghead's history. So, here we are on sudden death. It gets a bit harder for you both. I don't give you alternative answers. Barry, in an Italian restaurant, what type of seafood is guanciale? I've never heard of this, and I'm particularly fond of Italian seafood in restaurants. Guanciale. 
But it's not clams. Possibly could be scallops. Octopi, lobster, mussels. Oh, I'm running through a whole list of seafoods now. I don't know. I'll go for octopus. Octopus, you think is grand show? Well, I don't know, but I mean, I've just had to say one. 500th victory in a head-to-head, -head, Barry, if you get all this right, but it's not right, I'm afraid it's crab. Ah! So, Ross, you can spoil the party here. <laughs> Leave him waiting. Which term for a meat, fish or vegetable mixture that has been cooked in advance, allowed to set in its container and is then usually served in slices, takes its name from the French for earthenware pot? Is... I don't know if that sounds, like, too easy, I wouldn't have thought, like, that sounds like a pie to me. Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, or is it, would it be, uh, yeah, I'll just go with pie? No, it's terrine. Terrine, all oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. I can see where you... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the key thing is the earthenware pot is the terrine bit. Okay. Okay, Barry. <laughs> Your question. Which French cheese is aged in the caves of Combalou in the south of France? Now this would be easy if it wasn't for the fact that the French have about 300 cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> so picking one out of that might be a bit difficult. But one cheese that I do know is aged in caves, I believe, is Roquefort. So I'll go for that. Roquefort is correct, Barry. You're a very good quizzer. We haven't won the round yet. Ross, <laughs> to stay in. <laughs> Which foodstuff used in Europe to make polenta before the introduction of maize is the focus of Corsica's annual festival, Fiera di Acastagna? I don't know any Spanish, so I'm not sure. Maize might be another sort of crop similar to that. Um, I'll have a guess at barley. No, it's chestnut. Chestnut. Barry, well done. 500 head-to-head -head victories. Well done. <laughs> A great moment for Barry. <laughs> Sorry, Ross, but there we are. A bit of Egghead's history for you. The Frisbee missed. Barry's in the final round. And if you come back to us, we've got one more round to play before the final. Well, I won't make the obvious remark about things are looking dicey. It's still looking pretty hopeful. Uh, look from the right angle <laughs> and you have lost three brains from the final round the eggheads have not lost any so far but this we could turn this around so who would like to go in it's geography now and it's going to be luke or david 